good morning 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 it is 6 30 a.m on a saturday we're about to head off to the gym i love starting the day off with my gym routine i usually do f45 i prefer the classes but yeah so i'm about to head off i'll see you guys very very soon when i get back nice and sweaty don't mind the puffy eyes like i'm one of those girls that gets like a serious puff in the morning so yeah i'll see you guys soon okay guys so i'm back from the gym it's good sesh just had a shower if you guys do want to hear about like my morning routine so skincare and everything let me know i was actually also thinking about doing a like gym fitness kind of vlog as well for you guys just because lately i've really been really into that i've got a few goals uh, like body goals and health goals and stuff and what i want to reach so if you wanted to hear about like my like food what i eat in a day like gym sessions like what i do workout wise just everything like that i'm also like vegan keto so if you guys were interested in that kind of style like of eating and everything dietary things just let me know anyways let me know in the comment section so for breakfast usually i'll usually have leftovers from the night before so like i said i am vegetarian kind of keto i don't really like to label myself as anything because i do chop and change i do just like to have a high fat intake because that's the way to, I, i'd rather run my body of fat than glucose so i try not to have like a high carb intake so i'm getting too much into it i'll do this i'll save it more for my like i said my like workout vlog if you guys are interested in that that's better now I can like talk and cook at the same time basically all you need to know is like I was vegan and now I'm like vegetarian keto the reason why I changed from vegan is because um it just I wasn't my body was tired all the time like I was taking supplements like my b12 and everything but even still like I was tired lethargic I was bruising a lot like I would have bruises all over my body I was trying to uptake my vitamin C, maybe that was an issue, vitamin K, but still kept bruising. So I tried going back on eggs and that has helped so much. And then I've eaten cheese as well, just because it's easier to up like my fats with cheese. But I don't eat dairy. I'm in dairy intolerant, so I actually have goat's cheese. And funnily enough, goat's cheese is the most similar, like, I don't know if it's protein or, I know, it's similar to human breast milk. So that's a fun fact for you guys. So what I'm going to have for breakfast today is some leftovers. So I have pumpkin, a bit of roast pumpkin from dinner, some peas, some roast carrots, and then I'll cook up some, like just a couple eggs. And I'll put some cheese, some macadamia nuts, and olives in there to like really uptake the fats. But yeah, sometimes I'll have like a banana with some peanut butter as well afterwards just to kind of have that carby side, but I think I'll be right today. Oh, what I also forgot to mention was that I chose to go back to eggs originally just because we're getting these local ones from just a local farmer. So we know how the eggs, like the chickens are treated and everything like that. That was like kind of how I started to slowly get back into eating eggs. And then I went back to cheese as well. Like I said, just to uptake my fats. But I'm very, very conscious on my... Uh, footprint on the planet so that's why i'm not ready to go back to meat as yet but yeah so enjoy my cheese and my eggs uh but yeah so i actually haven't clarified i'm starting like vlogging a little bit on my channel just because i've been getting a little bit mm, tired some of is the right word i'm just getting a little bit stuck in like the beauty kind of vlogging tutorial kind of thing i'm just getting a little bit over it i think i needed a bit of a change up so i thought i'd try my hand at vlogging a little bit and just do it every now and then so i've also been thinking about coloring and cutting my hair for a little while just because it's got so you can't tell at the moment just because i showered but it has so many dead ends to it like a lot of ratties it's not good so i've been wanting to at least get it cut and also get a bit of coloring to it especially because um, I've got a few, like, just a few things coming up and I want to have a little bit of fresh, fresh colour to it. A bit of a change, I guess. So, I'm thinking of doing it myself. And when I say myself, I'm going to get my sister to do it. She did hairdressing for a few months. <laughs> she did hairdressing, yeah, for a few months. So, she did a bit of colouring and everything. She never cut hair, per se. 
but she did colour hair. So I'm just going to get her to just give me a bit of a trim. I'm not too faced really with my hair. Like if it turns out to be a mess, it turns out to be a mess. If it turns out good, it turns out good. Like I'm not one of those girls that really cares too much, so. <laughs> oh, I say that now, like watching this back and knowing what's to come, that's just so funny. <laughs> I thought I'd just save a little bit of money, get her to do it. I'll buy, I'll go to the shops today and buy some colour. I'm thinking of going a deep brown. I don't want to go lighter. I tried the light phase with the balayage a couple years back and I don't really like how it turned out. Uh, I don't think I suit light hair as much. Although I would like to try my hand at ombre, like the dark roots and the light ends one day a bit not today so i'll just keep it simple and go probably a bit darker so you guys can come to shops with me i'll see what color i'll get yeah get in loser we're going shopping <laughs> it totally works because we are going shopping get it <laughs> don't feel bad <laughs> don't keep that one oh there's just Eight so much weeks choice of fade dying color <laughs> What one's that one? This one's eight weeks. L'Oreal. I don't know. Hey, it's not like twenty bucks. Brown. Yeah, it's alright. It's not a deeper this brown is, shade. This is this. Mm. One, of one application. That's pretty good. Yeah. Even though this isn't the colour you want, but like, how long is this one? Let's try. It. What's this one? This one's good too. What's this colour? That's really dark. That's like a good. That's like yeah. darker. This one's like your colour already. This one's darker. I think I might get this one. But what about this one? So the actual colours I actually went and chose was this like purple shade for like a purpley undertone and I also went and I showed you guys this one already and chose this one from Claire Roll. Um, it's the nice, it's the deep brown shade, the natural darkest brown. So I want to kind of mix like these two together to get like a brown like colour but then like a purpley undertone to that colour you know and we're doing it the old school way with a plastic <laughs> container in yeah. hand I forgot to get the starter kit well, I we looked didn't we we couldn't find yeah. the starter kit version yeah. of it so we're just gonna make do I mean you can use my little foundation brush over there so I don't even know what I'm doing here so we got some of this crap <laughs> and some of I this. have to read the instructions I don't even know what this, this doesn't even stand okay there we go and some of this Oh, this is the rich care conditioner we use at the end. I yeah, that's right. That. Yeah. Oh, look, we have a little instruction booklet. And then what's Leaf this one? So we got the kind of same thing going on this box. We've got this, like, what do you even call this? This is the Color Blend Activator. Okay, we've well, definitely got to read the that's, instructions. That's the same That's the thing. developer emulsion. Oh, emulsion. Yeah. This is the color. This is the conditioner as well. Probably could mix these two conditioners together to be honest. And this is the darkest brown shade, I guess. This is the actual formula blend. And here's the instruction booklet. So this is like a one, two, three step one. So this is like the easy one. And then we want to mix a bit of color in there. I don't know how it's going to go with the color because really they're not really meant to be mixed together. But we'll just see how we're it just goes. like experimenting. I mean, I can't really turn out that bad really. Like, I say that now. <laughs> so basically for the beginner process, we're just doing the purple shade at the moment. So we're mixing all of the solution into the bottle. I'm basically just reading the instructions, to be honest. And then we have to shake it vigorously at first until vigorous well. <laughs> shake it vigorously. <laughs> then you've got to put the cap back on and shake vigorously, as you can see. Do you want to shake vigorously? Sure. Do you want to do the honor? Sure. This is so long. So <laughs> We're going to do on the grass, by the way, because I didn't want to risk getting on the floor in the bathroom. So we've moved locations. Okay, let's get to it. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. So good because I don't have to go just to a certain spot because I'm not just doing the roots, I'm doing the whole head. Where if you're just doing some of the roots, you can only go to like about there-ish. Like to where their roots have grown out. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, it's chilly. No, it's gotten so cold all of a sudden. It was so nice and sunny. That's oh. why we came out. And then, Nessie, did you just make a noise? Like, oh, shop, shop. 
<laughs> saying, oh, it looks so good. Oh, look at that beautiful purple line. Are you dyeing it purple? No. no, it's like a purpley it's brown. come out purple now. Probably though. is. Uh, I, think I think we may have put too much purple in. I mean, we put a hell of a lot of brown in. Yeah. Depends how strong the purple actually is. I think is. the purple, it looks really strong, but it might not come out so strong. Maybe. I feel like once it looks really strong in here, it's going to come out extra strong out there. So. Nah. Cool. It'll be a deep brown. It'll be a deep purple. It won't be as vibrant purple because we mix it with that deep brown. Yeah. Are you supposed to put um, all that purple in, or was it like a mix of purple and it was, no, purple? We, put, we and didn't brown. put all the purple in either. We only put like half purple. Half? Did we half it? Yeah. Yeah, we put about half and then three quarters brown. Sometimes you feel like running. Wanna be like a jumping. Don't you know? You can change your hair and you can change your. Cool beads, okay. No. Just... <laughs> yeah, back up, please. Oh. I love the way this feels. It's quite satisfying, actually. Mm. How funny! We have to get more, and it's all purple, and then half your hair's purple, and half brown. This is like the color it was before. Who thinks that looks like uh, pink? It looks like purple. Maroon. <laughs> looks like maroon. <laughs> How do people say maroon? It's maroon, guys. Come on, get it. It right. looks like purple. Mm. Actually, it looks like pink. Comment it's below if you think that looks like purple, if it looks like pink, and who thinks that Meg's gonna have two no. different hair colours? Yeah, <laughs> I think, I think one purple, one hair brown. Hair. <laughs> I'm really dried. I'm wet. You look like some gothic person, I reckon. You think it'll look nice? Yeah. Now I'm suddenly scared. <laughs> I mean, it is Wait, it's not the right time to be scared. I'm already halfway through your hair, more. So we're just doing a little purple in the ends, are we? Yeah. Can you hold it? Just at the ends. Just the ends. Just yeah. the ends. Just the ends. <laughs> and it secretly goes all through the hair. <laughs> em, you just said just at the ends. <laughs> I'm carried away. <laughs> I want your hair purple. Oh. Remember, just the ends. Mm. That one was just the end, sorry. Damn. I was I got carried away. Stop. Yeah. Are you so weak? What was that you? Alright, it is what it is. There we go. Now you can go sit for 30 minutes. Siri, set the timer to 30 minutes. She did. Already? I hadn't finished yet. You're gonna have to wait a little longer. Hi guys, so I've just had a shower and I applied the two conditioners. I know it says like you're meant to apply one, but I applied both for the two different packages. I applied the um, one that's supposed to nourish your hair after you've coloured it, so the purple one, and then I applied the um, the second one, the um, like the brown colour conditioner. That one you can apply once a week continuously, um, just to keep the colour in and nourish your hair. So I'm going to keep that and apply that once a week. Um, until the bottle runs out basically as you can currently my hair is drying so I'll do the big unveiling the big reveal later my sister's gonna cut my hair as well like I told you guys at the beginning of this vlog but yeah currently I'm just letting my hair dry so I'm just decided to do a bit of research on my computer just for like things to do while I'm in Canada because I have said in a previous video that I'm doing the camp Canada um, camp I'm applying to be one of the camp counsellors um, for 2020 in Canada next year. So I've just done a bit of my application now. Um, and now I'm just doing a little bit of research on what I want to do while I'm over there. If, you know, if I get accepted, what I want to do um, while I'm travelling around there for a couple months or so. Two to three months. So... I've just looked up a few tours and things. Let me just show you. So this is just like what I was looking at, like top things to do in Banff. But I've got on my like little document here, like things to do, like what tour I want to do. Like if I want to do Kentucky, Top Deck, if I want to do like um, G Adventures as well. I was looking at G Adventures. And like I've also got like a few things, like what I want to do and like different websites and stuff like that. Um, 
yeah, just like different things, trying to budget. So yeah, that's basically what I've been doing, just like researching a little bit. So if you guys have like any like advice on like what to see in Canada, if you've been traveling to Canada, what you thought your highlight of the, of the trip was, like what are must-sees if you are living in Canada, like just any things that you would suggest, like let me know in the comment section. I would really love that because I'm... Yeah, because I want to spend at least two months over there traveling, and I don't want to. I know I won't run out of things to do, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, I know I want to see a lot of the nature things, so I'm seeing a lot of the Rockies. I want to spend a fair bit of time in Banff, explore the lakes, do a few hikes and trails and things. But yeah, so let me let me know down below what you would suggest. That would be very helpful. Thank you. Otherwise, yeah, I might spend an hour or so just researching. So yeah, probably check back in with you guys when I've dried my hair, when my sister's probably about to cut it or something like that, because I'm probably just going to spend like the afternoon just on my laptop doing some work. Oh, it turned out so good. So I just had to like find a quick bit of sun to like get the proper kind of effect in the sunlight. It's turned out so, so well. That brown is stuck so, so good and the purple shows like shows through so well especially in like the sunlight you've got those purple undertones shining through and then in the shade you've just got the brown like it's a nice deep deep brown which is what i was going for so like i said i've just run like a hair straightener through it and some oil by the way those conditioners are next level amazing like my hair has been so dead and so dry but it's so silky smooth especially after like those two conditioners Ooh, I just think purple, like a deep purple suits more than like the reds because I, I remember when I went to my hairdresser the first time she was saying to me like oh do you want like a red undertone or like a purple and I was like oh kind of the purple because I think it just suits my skin tone a little bit better than the like if I were to do like a deep red or something like that. Ari it's just me. In the mood. It's just me. Yes. So hang on everybody. A little bit rude, sorry. She's preoccupied. She just had a bath yesterday. So she's feeling very good. But yeah, this is how I'm looking. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. <laughs> so Em's back, by the way, and she's going to cut my hair. Should I watch a tutorial on how to do this first? Just like, just like going to oh, V shape God. down my back of my hair. What if I did that? <gasps> oh my gosh, that would be so cool. Just to go like a ponytail cut. Yeah. I'm just moving you guys back, okay? Don't worry. You're still gonna see the whole shot. Not even doesn't really bother me. Yeah, that's good. 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 Oh, unless it was going to take off a chunk and then I was like, mm, better not. That's how much I chopped off. <laughs> you remember in how to say they just go with it. To be rude, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's to be rude. <laughs> <laughs> You're cutting so much off. Does it look really weird? <laughs> it's like short gap. <laughs> I don't mind the shot. The I did that bit. side of it better. This <laughs> is a horrible idea with the hair bit. Just let me chop it. No, you not <laughs> <laughs> what you're doing. Your hair. Took some convincing ladies and gents, but she's back. <laughs> back in the hot seat. I'm not, I'm not even been taking too much. I've been taking little bits at a time. I actually made it pretty even, let's be honest, for doing one side at a time. Yeah, so you guys can say even. <laughs> actually, I like the fringy bit though. This is like, because I've been wanting it a little bit shorter at the front. Oh, yeah. But I just have a long bit of fringe rather than just having hair. Guys, this is why they wear towels. You know what eh? they do? They chop like this. Can I chop like that? What's the point of doing that? I don't know. Dude, hold it over <laughs> there. <laughs> Um, so this is what she's done. She's cut the fringe. I don't know if you can see. Just cut the fringe off a little bit. Maybe let's like hide it to the background a bit. Like you know how they do that show oh, yeah. and tell on this way as well. YouTube thing. 
all her head right there. Oh, look how my fingers are shot. Peace out from Jeff and Gabriel Carty. How do you feel after that? Sure, wait, really. wait. How do you feel after that drastic haircut? <laughs> my heart's pounding. I didn't want anything drastic. She kept trying to give me a fringe. I tried to do it for you guys, but she wouldn't let it happen. Comment down below if you think I did a good job. So hey, Ari. This is how much she loves me. She responds every time I call her. Mm -hmm. Ari. Oh, wait. Wait. Can I just say? Can I just say? Whoever watches Gilmore Girls, don't tell me the ending, I haven't finished it, but just comment down below if you freaking <laughs> love that show. I'm like binge watching all the time. <laughs> Thanks, that's all, bye. Okay guys, this concludes today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you comment down below what you thought, if you have any requests on future vlogging. I'll still do beauty videos, of course, but I thought I'd try my hand at vlogging. Do something new, I've always I wanted to dye my hair for a while and I thought I might as well video it for you guys. I'll video the process. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!